SEO keywords. What are they and how can you use them to boost your website traffic? I'll teach you right now. Okay, SEO keywords. So SEO keywords are specific phrases that each page of your website will be about. Now, SEO keywords are not just any phrase or word, but they are specific phrases that you have chosen that fits your business goals and objectives, and they have search volume. Now, how do you find these SEO keywords? First, you need to ask yourself, what types of products and services do you offer? What business do you have? What is your website about? So let's just say we have a website and we sell various athletic shoes. Maybe we have, more specifically, we sell weightlifting shoes. So what you need to do is just search for that keyword. So I searched for weightlifting shoes. Now this is a great keyword to start off on because it fits our business and we sell weightlifting shoes. Next, we need to see whether or not it has enough monthly search volume. So the monthly search volume is the average number of searches that a keyword is being searched for on Google. So for weightlifting shoes, the average monthly search volume is a little over 33,000 per month. Now I'm pulling this data through the Keywords Everywhere Chrome extension. Now you can get this extension by going to keywordseverywhere.com and you can install it for either Chrome, Firefox, or Edge. Aside from weightlifting shoes, I like to see what additional phrases Google suggests in this dropdown right here. You can see weightlifting shoes Nike, Reebok weightlifting shoes, best weightlifting shoes, and so on. So all of these could be your SEO keywords that individual pages of your website are targeting. So if you sell Nike weightlifting shoes, this phrase could be your SEO keyword for that page. Same for Reebok and Adidas. Now you may want to prioritize the SEO keywords that have a higher average monthly search volume. For example, weightlifting shoes Adidas has an average monthly search volume of about 210 per month. Now, Adidas Weightlifting Shoes has an average monthly search volume of 3,600 per month. So Adidas Weightlifting Shoes would be a better SEO keyword than Weightlifting Shoes Adidas. Now, aside from this dropdown, you can also see additional keywords provided by Keywords Everywhere in these widgets on the right-hand side. You can see related keywords here. Olympic Weightlifting Shoes has an average monthly search volume of a little over 33,000. So this could be an excellent SEO keyword that you can have that one of your pages can target. We can also see what additional keywords people also search for. You can take a look at this widget and one that stands out is bodybuilding shoes. I would say this one is similar to weightlifting shoes. This one could also be a great SEO keyword that one of your pages can target. So you can have a page all about bodybuilding shoes. Another great keyword could be cheap weightlifting shoes. This one has an average monthly search volume of 720. Not as high, but if you offer more affordable weightlifting shoes, this particular SEO keyword could be an excellent one for you to target on your website. And let's take a look at this additional widget right here. So long tail keywords. So go through here and see what is relevant for your business and website. This one stands out, weightlifting shoes, wide toe box. This has a monthly search volume of about 90. So all of these keywords in these widgets can be your SEO keywords. And you can prioritize the ones that are relevant for your business and has a good amount of average monthly search volume. Now, if you want additional keywords, you can click on this button right here. Keywords Everywhere uses the Google Keyword Planner to find additional keywords around weightlifting shoes. It found about 600 keywords around weightlifting shoes. And all the keywords here are sorted by search volume. So you can see the most popular keywords at the very top of this table. So you can browse this list of keywords and find the ones that are relevant to your business and website and also has a decent amount of search volume. Now keep in mind, sometimes there might be relevant keywords for your business and website that might not have that much search volume. And that's okay because the most important thing is that all the keywords that your pages on your website are targeting are relevant to what you have to offer. And it's an added benefit if that particular SEO keyword has good search volume. Now, how do you use these SEO keywords after you've identified a list of them? Let's take a look at a page that's ranking high for weightlifting shoes. Let's open up Nike. So how does Nike target weightlifting shoes? The first place I'm seeing is this heading right here, weightlifting shoes. Now, if I turn on my SEO Minion Chrome extension, 
Let's take a look at what type of heading this is. So I'm gonna click on on-page SEO and take a look at the headings table. And here we go. So weightlifting shoes is an H1. And let's take a look at their page title. Their page title is weightlifting shoes. And their meta description also has weightlifting shoes. They are even targeting that SEO keyword in the URL as well as you can see right here. So you add your SEO keyword in your URL, the page title, the description, and also in your H1 tag and relevant headings on the page as well. Now keep in mind that you should only target one SEO keyword per page. And so you would have a page targeting each one of your SEO keywords. If cheap weightlifting shoes is relevant, you can create a page around cheap weightlifting shoes. So let's click on this page. And as you can see, this page is targeting cheap weightlifting shoes in the header and also in the URL. And let's open up SEO Minion, click here. So it is in the URL, in the title, in the H1 and H2. And they offered a variation of that keyword in the meta description. Okay, so hopefully you have a better understanding of what SEO keywords are. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.